Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a new guide on Diablo Immortal, but this one will be for the PC version, the official release from Blizzard. Uh, we're gonna start with the proper parameter for Windows, and after that, we're gonna go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're gonna search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, so as you can see, uh, it looks pretty smooth, even with the parameter that I will show you. I'm not running Ultra right now. I'm very impressed with the, the port that they did for the PC. So we're going to go to the settings. Settings again. 
first of all for display it's pretty much like the mobile version you have four picture mode it doesn't change anything with your fps it's more like a filter if you want want like a warmer color a cooler vintage or even classic i'm playing just classic for, for my display after that we're gonna go with the graphics so more option if i compare that with my samsung galaxy s21 so i just uncap my fps uh, in the menu, menu, they are pretty high because it's uncapped, but when I'm playing the game, I'm getting like 168 because I'm locking my FPS with my Radiant software. I just want to make sure that I'm staying in my FreeSync range. Um, so about FreeSync, if you have FreeSync, G-Sync, don't use the vertical sync over there. Uh, you will not have any issue. Uh, if you don't have those technology, I'm not a huge fan of this vertical sync because it adds input lag. But honestly, in a game like Diablo Immortal, you will not see any difference. And uh, if you don't like those tiering when you're playing the game, for sure, activate your vertical sync. It will help you for that. Image accuracy, I'm putting this one at off. Not a big fan of sharpening in this game. So you just have like on or off switch. Also, uh, on my mobile phone, it helps a little bit with performance. I didn't see a difference on PC. So just a selection that you can do over there. So the first parameter is the visual effect. Uh, this one will uh, not necessarily give you more FPS when you're just not moving and you're trying to test your FPS. It's more when you will fight, when you will have a lot of effect in your image. If you're getting a crazy drop when you're fighting, for sure lower your visual effect. It's, a, it's almost like 3% difference in your FPS for each bracket. So you can expect a nice 6% boost if you're going to low. Really depend on your computer. If you have, you're playing on a low-end computer with an integrated graphic or you have like an high-end computer. So go with whatever you uh, feel like. Uh, if you have a high-end computer, you can definitely run high for this. For the shadow, shadow is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of a fps if i compare very high to low you can expect 15 percent boost in your fps on the mobile version i just add low medium and i i didn't have very high it seems to be a pc feature over here or maybe on some other phones but that's very cool you have a little bit more room for here but honestly for diablo you don't really care about shadows and it will help you a lot with performance word of bug you just have two uh, different bracket uh, I really hope that they will like provide medium. So I'm going with low. You can expect a nice 5% boost. It's pretty crazy the amount of FPS that you can uh, have with fog at low. And also it helps a lot with your visibility. Post processing, I'm putting this one at off. Not a huge fan in this game. My game looks blurry when I'm using it. Like with blur and stuff like that. So that's why I'm putting this one at off. And I'm getting a nice 2 to 3% boost in my FPS. Anti-aliasing, I'm not a big fan of off in this game. Uh, you will have a lot of aliasing if you don't uh, add anything here. Low is pretty good, honestly. It's not too crazy, the anti-aliasing. Your, your game doesn't look blurry. And you will remove those crazy aliasing in this game. So low is very good. Very high to low. You can expect a nice 7% boost in your FPS. Environment detail. This one you can expect 3% boost when you're going to medium, but just 1% boost at low. So medium is a good spot to have a decent image quality and a nice boost. And it's pretty much with the pretty much the same thing with monster effect. I didn't see a huge difference between low and medium. If you're playing on a low-end computer, I did a test on my laptop. Um, I had a lot of like drop when I was seeing like monster and I, when I was fighting and stuff. Uh, when I put monster effect at low, it really helps to stabilize my FPS. So if you have this issue, just put the monster effect at low. Bloom effect, I recommend to go with off. Better visibility, not a huge increase in your FPS, but it's just for visibility. Ve vegetation burning effect, honestly, if you have a mid-range computer and more, you can definitely run this. On the low-end computer, you it will affect a lot your FPS. Again, on my laptop... Uh, I had like a lot of issue to run that, so that's why it's deactivated over here. And the global lighting, you can expect another three to four percent boost if you're removing it, but your game will look a little bit flat. So, question again of preference: do, do you need like more image quality or more FPS? So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Diablo Immortal guide for PC, the official PC release. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section with your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.